Okay, so if you've gotten your windshield replaced recently and are having some HVAC issues, there is a fix and this is what's going on. So there's been a shortage of Model 3, Model Y windshields. Um, locally in Arizona, we have Blue Chip Auto Repair, shout out to them. Um, they've been a go-to uh, replacement uh, for these windshields. And the issue uh, is, had my windshield replaced, and then on auto mode, it basically defaults to this setting. And I have it on manual now because this is now just fixed as of uh, about an hour ago. And the car, as you see, there's no airflow, it's going up. There's air that comes out of the footrests. There's air that comes out of here, but it's, it's, it's just not working correctly. And the internal temperature sensor feels off. Like the car will literally get really hot um, even though it's not that hot out, the cabin overheat protection kicks on or when you pre-cool the air, it just doesn't seem to work correctly. And this is because there is a circuit board. So behind this windshield, there are cameras for the autopilot system, just the front facing cameras. There's a circuit board, temperature sensor all in here. And the firmware, there's an issue um, with these new windshields. And so what happens is you need to reach out to Tesla or your windshield provider uh, I will list uh, the owner of Blue Chip below. They have a relationship with Tesla and can, if you want to do it, it's up to you. This channel was meant for, you know, local for Arizona mostly. And uh, the owner's name is Kelly. You just need to text your name and your VIN and the, he can get that to Tesla and Tesla will push a firmware update to your car that will really resolve the issue. That's why I don't have that issue right now and I'm so happy about it because this has been incredibly annoying to just manually control the temperature and the internal temperature sensor was it just seemed off as well so this is for some reason issues with newer windshields that need to be replaced with cars mostly model 3 uh, this is impacting it may impact the Y um, they have seen this issue on an S before but generally a firmware update is all that is needed and you can see the info below if you want to reach out and not wait for Tesla you may have to wait a couple of weeks for a service appointment or if um, your glass provider doesn't have um, an established relationship with Tesla to get that update pushed to your car but it is not a fleet-wide issue they do this firmware update basically it's almost like a reboot uh, for this circuit board with your car and then it fixes it. So I hope this is helpful. If you are having issues and had your windshield replaced recently, you need a firmware update and Tesla can provide that for you. Anyways, take care and talk to you in the next one. Bye.